Hey, maybe I have a father who's alive and I don't know. He makes fun of nearly everything in life, but when it comes to HIV, popular comedian Kenneth Chimuli Pablo drops the jokes. He was only 10 years when his father died of AIDS-related sicknesses. I remember seeing my dad eating lots of purples and I was like, man, I love this medication. Anyhow, I, I got to learn about my father. When my father died in 88, I never got to know what killed him uh, because I was, I was young. But again, nobody was willing to tell us, you know. They said, you know, he had a headache, he closed the chapter. And we also closed that chapter. But then, I later got to know in the, the early 90s, one of my, my aunties uh, told me that, look here, you, you know, I think she noticed that I was a little bit naughty. I said, hey guy, if you continue like this, you're going to follow your father's footsteps, you're going to get uh, HIV. And that's when I realized that, ah, he had died, he had succumbed to the, the, uh, the scourge. Followed by his mother five years later and four of his nine siblings from the same illness. She calls me to her deathbed and says, ah, look here, my son, I think uh, the party is over, I'm done with you. But I just need you to respect your uncle. Respect your uncle. Uh, he's, he's now your new father, he's going to take care of you. Um, respect everyone regardless of uh, their status and what they're doing. And for me, that's what I, I that's, that's when I, I smelt a rat. That's when I smelt a rat. And I wasn't surprised later when she died and I got to learn that, ah, she knew. Even though he jokes through the haunting experience, Pablo will never be the same again. My two siblings also died. And for me it was, how come? Is this a generational curse? Is it a family curse? What's happening? And for me, what happened to me is, I realized that, you know what? We have to stand out. Because this thing seems to be engulfing us. It's, it's like an amoyo bar. And for me, I, I, I made a decision that, you know what? Let's follow the script. Let's follow the script of what does it take to survive uh, this scourge. And, and for me, that's every time I remember, every time I remember my mom on her deathbed, I look at the pale face, her pale face wrinkled, her uh, bones were all sunken with her, eye, her, her eyes, the ball sockets with the, the eyes extremely wide, like never before with the curly black hair that was falling off in installments. That image, when I look at it, it, it sends a cold chill down my spine. At Tangaza Arts Center in Makere, Chikumi Chikumi, Pablo has opened a center to train young people, including those living with HIV, in different skills. Okay, it's me. My son.